Yeah, pretty cool. If you keep in count, there was nine. Now there's five. Um, I didn't jerk them, but I am gonna show you how to jerk chicken today, how I season it. So stick around. This is the first episode of my jerk chicken series, which is how to season jerk chicken with a wet rub. Thanks for stopping by Just A Rad Life. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to Just A Rad Life. In this episode, we're gonna be seasoning jerk chicken. So, in our, here's a jerk, the wet rub jerk seasoning, and in this seasoning we have scotch bonnet pepper, we have pimento, which is allspice, we have garlic, we have salt, we have thyme, and I blend it all together with a little bit of molasses. Sometimes I'll even throw a little red striped beer in there in vinegar and some citrus just to get the flavor. It all depends on what I feel and how hot I want the chicken at the time and sometimes what's actually available in the house if I run out of jerk chicken seasoning and I haven't planned on making any. So the wet rub is my choice in how to make jerk chicken. So this is how to wet rub season jerk chicken. So for all intents and purposes, got my gloves here because you don't want to get any of that seasoning on your hand. It can be very hot. So our chicken is washed and cleaned properly. I wash it in salt baking soda, vinegar, and water. And then I clean out like every nook and cranny of that. So look at that, that's clean, ready to throw some seasoning on it. So you just get a little bit on the glove and you just, like anything else, you just start rubbing it into the product, the meat. You know, rub it on the meat. And the gloves kind of help because, you know, you can transition from glove to a dry item that you might need, like this knife that you guys see in the bowl. So after, we rub the jerk on these. We're gonna poke them with a knife just to ensure that the flavor just soaks into the chicken. Now, I typically season these for anywhere from 36 to 48 hours. However, you know, if we do crave it and we run out, I've been known to do it for 12 hours or overnight, or I, I think Brock up wants to try, you know, let's just season them and throw it on the grill and see if it still adds flavor. So that might be an experiment we do with jerk chicken down the line. But with this, I like to take my time, meaning just rub it in. As you can see, get everything on the leg quarter and just let it soak. I mean, when you get it out of the refrigerator after we bag it, it typically comes out and I know it's gonna have a nice flavor to it. You know, so you rub it on. So yeah, you can definitely purchase the wet, seasoning at your local grocery store in the international section. I think a couple that come to mind are Grace Kennedy and Walker's Wood sell their own style of wet jerk seasoning that's available. And it's, it tastes good. I've tried that as well, but I just figured out how to make my own and I make a lot of it and I use it, you know. So just give you another idea with the leg quarter, what you can do is pull it back too and rub in there and then pull the skin in. So you see that? Pull it back, get it under there. And this is where the bags really come in handy, you know? So again, just pull it back, rub it in, get it all in there. Other piece, pull it back, rub it in, get it all in there. So this is how we do a wet rub on leg quarters with the chicken. And the last step to this process, check this out, the gloves are really cool to use. So the last step to this process, just to ensure that everything soaks, and let me get one of the gloves actually, just to hold the bowl. So the last step to this process is to take a knife and you kind of want to pierce the flesh of the meat, the skin and everything. And what this does is it ensures that this flavor just soaks into the chicken. So meaning the rub just goes in there and just creates that awesome jerk flavor that you don't want to leave out, you know? And like I said, you can let this sit 12 overnight and then cook it 
24 hours, 48, 36. I mean, as long as you want. I typically do 48 if I'm entertaining. You know, meaning I want to make sure my food tastes great for my guests. We do a huge 4th of July barbecue around here. And I typically make jerk chicken. So, you know, I take pride in what I cook and I want it to taste nice. So I do that for, for that time. But this is how you season jerk chicken. Thanks for stopping by. We're about to put it on the grill in a couple of days. So stick around for that episode.